Yes, what's the point of all that, Honorable? Me, Ludiambo. Mr. Speaker, sir, as you know that the coronavirus has actually had devastating effects on the lives of individuals, on the lives of families, on the lives of communities, on the life of our own country and the economy in particular, and even the economy of the entire world, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, in the midst of all this, Mr. Speaker, sir, there has emerged a global anthem of recovery in the uh, challenge, Jerusalem. Mr. Speaker, sir, I would wish to request that the Kenyan parliament becomes the first parliament in the entire world to actually take on the Jerusalem challenge. Mr. Speaker, sir, as the leaders, we often give indicators and direction to the country. And even as we'll be moving into the new year and the year after we'll be going into an election period, Mr. Speaker, sir, we want to encourage the rest of the country that we can be united in our diversity, whether it's ethnic diversity, whether it's different political um, um, parties, Mr. Speaker, sir, that we can tolerate one another even as we have different views. Majority the Leader. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. It's time for us to put aside what makes us different and looks at what makes us the same, which is our Kenyanness, which is our humanity and empathy with fellow Kenyans, especially those who have suffered, who have been affected by the coronavirus and the effect it has had on the economy. I see no reason why we cannot uh, show the world that Kenya and lead in showing empathy with the rest of the world. Mr. Speaker, I do support. Honorable Leader of Minority Party. As a country, we need to move forward and empathize together as a nation and demonstrate that we as leaders would show that this country, even though we are diverse, but we are still united, we are one indivisible nation. And so, Mr. Speaker, I'm just requesting that instead of taking too much time discussing this matter, we want to show the whole country, the whole world, that Kenya is taking leadership in terms of peace building and in terms of empathizing and sympathizing with other fellow Kenyans. I want to urge that you just go ahead and put the question, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Put the question. It is that the House takes on the Jerusalem challenge. Will as many as that opinion say aye? Aye! As many as the contrary opinion say nay? Aye. The eyes have it.